Our first flip would be transforming these handsome guys. Nutcrackers have been a big part of Christmas decor for centuries and traditionally have been modeled after soldiers. Lately, the trend has been a more minimal nutcracker with neutral colors and even all natural wood. Although these are still beautiful the way they are, these guys have been loved for years by their owners and are now ready for a mini makeover so they fit into a modern aesthetic. I'm first getting started by stripping them of all the embellishments and temporarily removing the hair. I will be spray painting the body in a neutral color, freshening up their black hats and using some gold on the base instead. I do want to keep their swords and boots the way they are so I'm taping those off. Once they were completely dried, I used some gold rub and buff on their buttons and freshened up all the gold areas. Then I finished them off by attaching a couple different holiday ornaments I got at Hobby Lobby. This is an antique footstool I picked up at the thrift store earlier this year and I'm just now getting around to giving it some love. The first thing I did was remove the top cushion, there was really no saving it, but once I did that I realized the base was broken so I went ahead and took it all off. I'm trying to do all these thrift flips using whatever I have on hand, like this piece of scrap wood, which happened to be the exact width of the seat so I marked off how much I would need and cut it to size. I also picked up this pillow sham at the thrift store. It's a really beautiful black material. It does have some pattern sewn into it and has a soft, silky feel. Here I'm trying to line it up so the pattern looks intentional. I thought of using something a bit more festive, but I think with this I can use it throughout the year as well. This small pillow was also from the thrift store. I would have preferred to use a high density foam, but I used up all that I had. And like I said, I'm trying to use what I already have. And this pillow coincidentally is the same size as the wood. Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been long to hold you close Forget about everything else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh Now back to the legs. I'm just giving it a quick sanding. I'm going to be using some gel stain to freshen this up. Usually I would try removing that detail piece on the side and prepping it separately, but I didn't have to. I got this handy little trimmer here from Vavor and this saved me a lot of time. I was able to get in between those spaces my sander couldn't get to. It not only made this project move along faster, but it evened out all the areas. This is a tool I think every DIYer should have. Sometimes it's just those little 
little details that can really elevate a finish. I'm using Varathane Gel Stain in the color Dark Walnut. I'm first brushing it on and then wiping it back with a sharp cloth. This is a quick and easy way to refresh old candle stands. This style is often overlooked at the thrift store, likely because they are always missing some of the crystals or they look dull. This one had a couple of crystals on the stand itself, so I'm just going to remove the dangling ones. Then I'm using Rub and Buff in Antique Gold to add a little life back to it. I do want to mention here that whenever you can wash these items underwater, you should. You never know where or what they have been through and sitting at the thrift store, they can accumulate a lot of dust, especially in little crevices. To finish it off, I'm adding some Christmas green ribbon with the same color candle for a tone and tone look. I picked up this candle holder at the thrift store with every intention of doing something with it. I'm not a fan of galvanized decor, so I will be spray painting this. But before I do that, I'm opening up those petals so both sides can be covered. A couple of them were actually squeezed together. I found this really gorgeous spray paint recently and I have been so excited to try it. It does require using black first, so I'm using some black spray paint I had on hand. And for the base, I'm using Rustoleum Metallic Copper. I had never seen this or just maybe never noticed this before. It's Rustoleum Color Shift. I found it at Walmart. This is the color green copper and it's this gorgeous green color that has a little bit of a copper undertone to it. If you've used this before, do let me know your thoughts in the comments. I really love the way this turned out. I saw these bell-like things at the thrift store a couple of months ago and thought right away with a little love, I think these would be perfect for Christmas decor. I'm using this Krylon hammered copper to add not only color, but some texture. I'm actually going a little heavier in some spots so that the runs add to the texture. I wanted to experiment a bit with the color shift green copper I used earlier on the candle holder. I was really curious what would it do if it's not used with black. I sprayed that on lightly in some random spots and it didn't turn green but it added a slightly iridescent gold color which I loved so I just went with it. After it was completely dried, I used this wax from Bear in the color Dark Antique. I wanted to add some dimension and a little bit of an aged look to it. I rubbed it in with a shop cloth so it settled into the little crevices created by the spray paint and on the corners.
Very often I see gorgeous vintage plates that are not a set. I picked up these two along with this single martini glass. The plates had gold around the trim and I thought the gold bit at the bottom of the glass would work nicely. After cleaning them up, I just stuck them together using E6000. This is a very quick and easy way to create your own holiday treat stand that is unique to you. 